It's been more than a year since a derailed train left a black cloud over the skies of East Palestine. President Joe Biden arrived Friday and promised to hold railway company Norfolk Southern accountable for the fiery train crash and urged Congress to pass a long-stalled railway safety bill. You know, I, I want to thank uh, the folks of East Palestine to know, I want them to understand that uh, we're not going home no matter what till this job is done. And it's not done yet. There's a lot more to do. Some welcomed the attention. The handling of this has is, is been largely inadequate. Um, you know, people are still getting sick and there are people who are still out of their homes. And, you know, that, that, that needs handled. Downtown, a small group rallied for Biden's likely presidential opponent, Republican Donald Trump, who visited shortly after the accident. I mean, I waited a year to get here. It's the fact that he was pressured to come in. He, there was all just political pressure from his donors and everyone else saying they need to get him out there, need to do something. In a campaign ad released for the occasion, Trump called it too little, too late. A year after the accident that spilled toxic chemicals here, the cleanup goes on. The water has been declared safe, but some residents say they're not so sure. The state of Ohio has declared the local water safe, but many here refuse to drink it. Some handed out bottled water to residents during the president's visit, a sign of the community's lack of faith that the danger has passed. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, East Palestine, Ohio.